Hey guys, Peter with Air Vapor here, and I'm back with another pro tip video on how to fill syringes, specifically these small 1ml glass syringes that we carry. These syringes are a popular packaging option for high quality material, but they can be difficult to fill. So today I'm going to show you two methods that will save you hours of work, especially if you have to fill hundreds or thousands of these things. Let's dive in. The first method we are going to cover is the syringe coupler method. This tiny white thing here is a syringe coupler. We have them available for purchase and they allow you to connect a big syringe to a small syringe, which is really cool because that is going to allow you to fill these at a much faster rate. You're just going to take your larger syringe, make sure it's filled with your material, then put the coupler on it by twisting it onto the lure lock. Then take the cap off your smaller syringe after it's fully assembled, attach it to the coupler and begin your fill by gently pushing material from the bigger syringe into the smaller syringe. After the fill is complete, remove the small syringe from the coupler, place the cap on it, and there you have it, a filled 1ml syringe. The second method we'll cover is my preferred method of filling because it does not require as many assembly steps, which saves a lot of time. There's a special tool that I'll be using to perform this fill, and you can probably find it at your local sporting goods store or Walmart. It's a 10 pound fishing line. I have a roll of it right here. First, we're gonna cut about a four inch section of the fishing line, or whatever you can comfortably hold in your hand. Um, some of our clients like to take the fishing line and tape it to a chopstick or popsicle stick to make it easier to grasp, but the basic technique remains the same you will still need a larger syringe filled with your material, such as this 10 ml syringe I have here, or you can even make this work with a filling machine. You're gonna start by taking the syringe you want to fill with a cap on and no plunger. Then place it in a position where it can be held upright. Luckily, this is exactly how they come packaged if you buy from us. Then holding the larger syringe above the smaller syringe, gently begin to fill the syringe from the top dead center. Taking care not to get any material on the side wall of the syringe above the fill line. This is actually really important. After filling, you're going to place your fishing line into the syringe like this, allowing it to hover right above the liquid. Then slowly push the plunger down until it meets the liquid inside, then pull the vent cord out. As you can see, if this technique is used correctly, it allows you to hand fill these syringes at light speed compared to other methods. And there you have it, a filled 1ml glass syringe. Thanks for watching this video. Please hit us up with any questions in the comments section. Hit that subscribe button below, smash that notification bell, and call or email us here at Air Vapor to purchase any of the items featured in this video. Thanks. See you again next time.